Okay, I'm going to open an image in Camera Raw. So I'll choose that one and open it up. And I'm going to do a little bit of work on it and then save it without having to take it into Photoshop. So I'm going to pull these highlights down so that they're not uh, clipping. I think I'll pull the, the, the shadows up a little bit. I'll adjust the contrast a little bit. Maybe take the vibrance up just a touch. Let's look at it before and after. I'll turn the clipping warning off so I don't need to uh, visually deal with those red spots. And that, that looks pretty good. So, let's say that I want to save that without going into Photoshop. I can come down here to Save Image, and I get this dialog, which allows me to do a number of things. One, I can save in the same location or save it to a different location. Uh, I can select the folder where I want to save it to. I can choose a, a different file naming. I can choose the format. Uh, let's say I want to save it as a JPEG format, and uh, I want the name to be a year, year, month, date. Um, here I can change the quality, uh, 12 being the max. If I choose 10, it's still high quality, but you'll save about one third the file size. You can choose your color uh, space. If I were saving this uh, for somebody to view on their monitor, I'd choose Adobe RGB. If I were putting it on the web, I'd probably uh, choose sRGB. Uh, right now, I'll leave it at Adobe RGB. I can also uh, specify a particular size on it. And if I choose, uh, I can have uh, Camera Raw sharpen it automatically as it, as it saves. And so, um, I will save this to my desktop folder and click Save. And so now I have a, a copy of that image. Let me flip over to my, my desktop and there is my JPEG image named in the name that I wanted it and with the camera raw settings that I've chosen to use.